What's up, nerds and nerdettes, and we little nerdlings all? <laughs> it's your buddy, Big Johnny G for two. Gun Pixie presents Legendary Gaming. Shut up and sit down. Hey, welcome back to Good Pixie, and today's Tabletop Takeout Tuesday. Uh, we do this every week, we do videos every day of the week, actually, but every Tuesday, you can catch us talking about board games. This is, this is bullet points, it's not a full review, it's just bullet points as to why myself, uh, Tom Bulo, the 27 Warriors, my wife, uh, enjoy when a particular game hits the table. Now today, I want to talk about a really fast-paced, easy-to-learn, quick setup, uh, no background needed, Kind of dice chucking game, and that's Cthulhu dice. <laughs> I, should, I, should, I, I guess I really should say Cthulhu die, because the game just comes with one die. Uh, one die, a uh, bunch of plastic beads to use as counters, and a folded up pamphlet for your rules. That's all it is. And you know what? It's freaking amazing! I, I love the idea of playing bad guys in a game. You know, it's uh, it's used, but not as often as it could be. And in this case, I get to play a cultist. Not just any cultist, a cultist of mighty Cthulhu. And my job is to feed Cthulhu sanity. I'd prefer not to feed him my own sanity. It happens, though, sometimes. My true goal is to feed the great Cthulhu all of your sanity. <laughs> so this is a, a really fun, fast-paced, uh, take-that-style game of luck. Now, sometimes that take-that aspect that you just rolled, you end up rolling against yourself. There's a certain level of chaos that that brings to this game that I think is absolutely, positively, thematically perfect. These games are... <laughs> this is like... If a filler game wanted to play a filler game, this is what it would play. These run like five minutes. Uh, maybe ten if you have a whole bunch of people around the table. But generally speaking, yeah, it's going to run you about five minutes. That's it. You know, you, usually I say filler games are great when you're waiting for the rest of the group to show up. And you can just throw out a quick filler game that'll take you, you know, maybe 15, 20 minutes. Uh, but this is like, there's not even enough people for the filler game, so you got time for the pre-filler game of Cthulhu Die. <laughs> and it's really that fun that you're going to want to keep doing it. You're going to want to keep doing it, like, uh, because the replayability is just insane. It's, a, it's just an insane amount of action going on in the table so fast, so, so very fast. Uh, but yeah, I mean, th that defines this game, speed. Speed and, and, and learning the game and setting the game up and playing it and getting ready for the next game down. And it is so portable. Uh, the, the version of it I got is just just a Ziploc bag with a D12 in it uh, and, uh, and a whole bunch of plastic beads. I mean, it can fit in any damn pocket I have. A, a pants pocket, a front pocket, an inside pocket. It would practically fit in the coin park pocket that you have on the side there so yeah you can bring it anywhere set it up teach anyone get this game played have a lot of fun uh laughing at each other while you're doing it i mean what else are you looking for in a game now i i think that even though it's simple enough and and it is pretty much all luck based i, I do think that a certain amount of experienced gamers will will like this will find this game enjoyable is this a gateway game yeah i think it is because how fast it plays, and all you gotta do is, is roll the die and look at an icon. It's super easy. So I think it fills both of those categories with uh, with high replayability. I mean, depending on what kind of Edward Gorey, uh, uh, Charles Adams style of entertainment you and your family enjoy, you might even call this a family game. And yeah, definitely a great game, not only for any time of the year, but especially especially for this time of the year that this is posted to be going out for October. Yeah, I, I think it fits the atmosphere beautifully. Overall, there really isn't anything else to say about this game. Uh, you learn the icons on the 12-sided die, or you just read them off the pamphlet, you play it enough, you don't need to read it anymore. And that's it. 
buy the game, learn the game, play the game in five minutes. <laughs> well, it might take a little more than five minutes to get the game to you after you, after you purchase it, right? I, I know that, I know. But yeah, no, overall, that's that's what you're looking at. I mean, this is, this is worth it on every level, I think. And uh, I, I've had fun with this game for over a decade now. Me and Tom and Bulo have thrown this down on the table. Me and the 20 Sided Warriors have thrown this down on the table. And, and it's been fun. We've enjoyed it. So go get some more information on Cthulhu Dice. Or Die, as I call it. I think it would have been a lot funnier, Cthulhu Die. You know, using one die, but also the implication that you want to kill Cthulhu kind of thing. I think that would have worked. But anyway, <laughs> go watch some playthroughs. Uh, have some fun learning about Cthulhu Dice. And I think, I think you may want it.